Millions Wonderland Pier reopened late this afternoon, honoring a booking for a children's party. Hey, this is new. Yeah. But the newest attraction, the Wild Wonder, remains closed. Investigators tried for a second day to learn why the car carrying Kimberly Bailey and her eight-year-old daughter Jessica somehow disengaged from its tow chain at the peak of its steep climb and plunged backward. Why, when the car hit a 90-degree turn at high speed, centrifugal force hurled the two Rockland County residents to their deaths 10 feet below, despite the safety bar. And why an anti-rollback device, which should act like an emergency brake, didn't. The focus of the investigation at this point is mechanical to, to try to understand uh, ex in exactly what way uh, the ride malfunctioned. We know what happened, but we don't know what went wrong to cause it to happen. New Jersey rewrote its amusement ride safety code two years ago, increased the number of inspectors and inspections. The state says there have been 20 percent fewer serious accidents this year than last year, although nationally such accidents are up 20 percent. The brand new Wild Wonder passed two inspections in July. Joya Periello rode it with her cousin about two weeks ago. We were going down the curves and they felt like I was going to just fall off onto the street. I didn't like it. I felt very unsafe. The state plans to question people who had what they think are unusual experiences with the Wild Wonder, as well as a number of eyewitnesses to the fatal accident. The first for the family-owned Gillian Wonderland Pier in its 70-year history. In Ocean City, Stephanie Shelton, UPN 9 News.